Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in my last video I showed you how to use uh, the Borg in order to backup files and folder under Linux. But it was using the command lines. Okay. So in this video I'll show you the same thing but this time using a GUI client, a graphical user interface. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you know, I'm under Ubuntu Linux here. So in order to install this uh, graphical user interface for Borg, which is called Vorta, I have to add its repositories. So here we go. We add the repositories for Vorta. Yes, Vorta is the name of the client that we'll be using for backupping. So I'll provide my username here. I hit enter to continue et voila the repository for Vorta are added now so it depends on your connection of course here we go we are done now we have to issue the command up Update, update in order to update our list of packages. Uh, yes, I have to use sudo commands. Okay, now let's install our Vorta clients. You have always this issue with uh, permission denied because we have to install it using sudo commands. So I will hit yes here in order to validate the install. And now I'm installing this uh, client for backup in which is called Vorta. So far so good, we are done. Let's launch it and see what's going on. Here we go. So this is our GUI for the Borg command line. So as you can see here, Vorta for Borg backup, okay? So if you didn't take a look at my last video, please do so because it will provide the basic in order to get started with backup in files and folders in Linux. So the first thing first, we have to initialize our archive or repository in uh, our uh, machine. So here you can see there is a tab called repository. So here we have to select the backup destination. Actually, it's a folder that you can use in order to store all your backups. Okay. So let's create, for example, uh, just folder here called backup. You can name it whatever you want. BC example. Okay. So let's initialize our new rep repository here. Okay, so I have this window here. And here you have to go and select your folder. I created on my desktop and this is this one, capital B C K. So I will choose it, open. And you can provide here a passphrase in order to protect this folder. So I will just pipe passphrase here we go now actually we have initialized our repo okay so as you can see here this is the path to our repo so we are done with our repo now all we have to do now is to provide the sources or the actually the files and folders that we want to backup but you will notice here by default it will use here compression LZ4. But you can just choose another one like Zlib for example. I use it a lot. But you can stick with the default 
LZ4 compression. Okay. So let's go to the sources and choose the source folders and files that we want to back up. So here you can see that this graphical user interface actually guides you in order to fulfill your backups. So let me just add a folder here. So I will add just a folder here called docs because if you remember in my last video I, I choose it, it contains just some uh, files and a package here. Okay. So I will choose this folder here. So I, you can see it's added to the list. Of course you can exclude here some files or some patterns if you want. So but here we will just stick with the basics one. Okay. So now we are finished. We have chosen our repo. We initialize it. We provide the passphrase and also the sources. We have here a folder that we want to backup. All we have to do is just to start our backup. So I will hit and you can see backup is finished. Okay. So this is it. Here we have a schedule so we can schedule it manually or if you want to back up to run every three hours or something like that, you can here schedule your backup. It's actually used cron uh, in Linux, cron program in Linux. Okay. And this is the tab for archives. So we can see here that I have fulfilled backup at, at uh, 2042. So the size was 14.7 megabytes. The duration, it was almost instantaneous because I have only just small files, six files here. Okay. And here is the name of my archive. Okay. So that was just quick and easy, you know, program that you can use in order to back up your files and folders. Now let's say that we want actually to restore this backup. So the archive here that we have here that we have just backup it. Let's restore it or extract it to another directory if you want. So let's create a folder just for testing. So I will call it just test on my desktop here. Okay, here we go. So you go to your archive tab, you select your archive here and you hit this button here, extract. Okay. So now it's asking me where I want to, or actually what I want to extract. So I want to extract this stock folder here. I don't know if I have provided uh, where I want to extract. So if you select top level folder and select all archive, they will be restored. So I have to just to select the folder that I want to restore or extract. And I hit extract. And let me choose the, doc, the folder that I want to extract to. So it's test folder here. Up. So here you can see that I have restored files from the archive into the test folder. So let me open the test folder and see if I have my files. And indeed, we have successfully uh, managed to extract our files. Okay. So that was just a brief introduction how you can use the for Vorta client in order to backup and restore files and folders in Linux. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.